Praise the Lord, everybody. Today is Wednesday, July the 1st. 2020 is the year. We are beginning a brand new month here, the month of July. And um, it's exciting. And I have a word that is in my spirit that I need to share with the people of God this morning. And just as people are logging on, I'll give it a, a, a minute or so here. But uh, I am actually drinking my morning coffee right now. It is 8.10 a.m., 8.10 in the morning here in Southern California. So I'm drinking my morning cup, okay? So, and I actually got this mug in Texas. I'm back home from Texas. Had a blessed time out there with Prophet Rob Sanchez and his team. And it's good to be back home in California and met some wonderful people of God out there. Great pastors and great people. And it's just a blessed time in Texas. And it's also good to be home. But Listen, I have a word in my spirit that I need to release this morning. And before I get into this short word to release to the people of God this morning, I want to uh, just make an announcement real quick. This Friday, which is July the 3rd, this Friday will be July the 3rd we are going to be having our online service. Now, we usually do it on Saturday nights. We usually do the Saturday night live service. But since this Saturday is the 4th of July, which is uh, a national holiday here in America, it's Independence Day, we are not going to have the service on Saturday. Instead, we're going to have it this Friday, okay? So that'll be this Friday on the Roaring Eagles Facebook page and Roar Eagles Ministries YouTube channel. That'll be at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So I want to invite all of you to join us this Friday night for our online service. Uh, God has given me a word for this Friday and it's going to be a good time. And um, it's going to be a good time of getting in the word and studying the word and fellowshipping and allowing the spirit of God to move as he wills. That's this Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, July the 3rd, okay? So, all right, let's get into this word that I have <clears throat> for the people of God this morning. I am in the book of Job, the book of Job. If you have your Bible, you can open your Bible to the book of Job, chapter 42. Job 42, and then go down to verse 12, I'm actually going to read only the first part of the scripture, Job 42, 12. Here's what it says. It says, so the Lord blessed Job in the second half of his life even more than in the beginning. One more time, Job 42, 12. So the Lord blessed Job in the second half of his life even more than than in the beginning, okay? Now, how many of you out there know that Job had a first half and a second half? The Bible says that he was a very blessed man. He was a righteous man, and God had blessed his life. And then Job went through a season of, of, of trials and testing. But as Job uh, did not let go of God, during the season of testing, during the season of trials. The Bible says that he came through that trial, okay? And in Job 42, 12, it says that the Lord blessed Job in the second half of his life even more than in the beginning, okay? So his second half was more blessed than his first half. And, we, and the Bible tells us that Job... In the first half of his life, he was a blessed man. He was a blessed man. Okay, he goes through the he goes through the fiery trial. He goes through the test. He stuck with God. He didn't turn his back on God, and he came through that thing 
even more blessed on the second half of his life, okay? And so here's the word of the Lord for all of you out there this morning, the people of God this morning. <clears throat> Today is July the 1st. 2020 okay and today we are exactly at the halfway mark of this year okay today july the 1st is literally the midpoint or the halfway point of this year okay this year 2020 is actually a leap year and good evening pastor out there in texas love you guys and miss you guys already now get it, this year is actually a leap year. So a normal year has 365 days. This year has 366 days. While today is day 183, okay? It's 183 day. It's the 183rd day of the year 2020. And we are literally halfway. This is the halftime time of the year 2020, okay? God bless you, I love you, Pastor Chris and Pastor Oscar out there, House of Freedom Church in Texas, had a blessed time with you guys out there. You guys are special people to God and to the body of Christ. And so what I wanted to, to share, the Lord put this on my heart this morning, that's why I titled this morning devotional, Halftime Report, because any of you out there that like to watch basketball, basketball has four quarters to it you have the first quarter the second quarter and then you have a halftime and the teams go into the locker rooms for the halftime okay there's a halftime break and the teams will go into the locker room and the coach will talk to his team he will evaluate how the team has been doing in the first half and they will strategize how they're going to come out and play in the second half of the game, okay? Maybe the team needs to step up their defense, or maybe they need to go after rebounds, or maybe they need to pass it more to so-and-so. You understand what I'm saying? But at the halftime, they go into the locker room to re-strategize, to evaluate, and then to come out with the game plan of how they're going to attack the second half of the game to come out with the victory, to come out with the W, with the win, okay? Well, today we are literally, this is the halftime or the midway point of the year 2020. We are 183 days into this year and there are exactly 183 days remaining in this year, okay? So this is the halftime report and God so prompted me early this morning. I mean, it's 8.18 here right now. In, um, it's 8.18, which that's a prophetic number. Somebody remind me to get back to that scripture at some point, because I believe that's referring to Deuteronomy 8.18. But God so prompted me this morning. He said, Carlos, I want you to go, to, go on live today. I don't normally do morning devotionals. And he said, I want you to tell my people that it is the halfway point. And here's the word of the Lord. This year, 2020, we were all preaching it. 2020 vision, right? The year of vision and the year of expansion. And so here's, here's what I want. Here's what God put on my heart. This year so far in the first half, it caught a lot of people off guard. Okay. The first half of this year, it may not have been what you expected it to be. It may not be what you had anticipated this year to be. Okay. And so with the COVID and the pandemic and everything that all the other things that have happened already in the first half of the year, I want you to hear the word of the Lord. This is the halfway point and God is saying he wants you to get into the locker room with him because he is the captain of our salvation. He's the captain of the team and God is going to give you the strategy and the vision for the second half of of the year, people, okay? And the Bible says that Job's second half was more blessed than his first half, okay? And so 
we, you may have taken several hits in the first half of the year. Okay, it may not have panned out the way that you had anticipated it to or expected it to. But God is saying the game is not over. God is saying it's halftime right now. And God is saying he's going to download to you the blueprint and the divine strategy from heaven of how to go after this second half of the year 2020 because everything that God has in store for you, everything that he has in store for your church, everything that he has in store for your family, it has still been ordained of God, okay? God has still signed off on it. And guess what? No weapon that is coming against you this year in 2020, it has not prospered so far, okay? It may have thrown you off a little bit, but you're still in the fight. You're still in the game. God is still your coach, and he's got a great strategy and a great blueprint of how to come out for the second half, and you're going to come out with the victory if you just stick to the script and you stick to what God has for you this year, okay? Now, I want you to hear this. Now, hear, hear, hear the word of the Lord in, in, in the book of Ezekiel. In the book of Ezekiel chapter 36, go to Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 11. Ezekiel 36, verse 11, it says, And I will multiply upon you man and beast, and they shall increase and bring fruit. And I will settle you after your old estates, and will do better unto you than at your beginnings. Say amen. And you shall know that I am the Lord. Okay, let me tell you something, people of God. God is not a stranger to second half comebacks. Okay, God is the comeback king. Okay, just, just think about your own testimony. God is a master at overcoming the odds. God is the comeback king, and God is not a stranger to second half comebacks, okay? This is this is the story of Israel. This is the story of our lives. I just read to you Ezekiel 36, 11, where God says that I will do better unto you than at your beginnings, okay? Better than your beginnings. So the second half is promised to be better than the first half. Hear me right now. For those of us that are walking with God, we are in the will of God, okay? We, we, we are doing what God has called us to do. Watch this. The second half of 2020, if we're doing this thing the way God wants us to, it's promised to be more blessed than the first half. Say amen. It's promised to be more blessed than the first half. Someone say Amen. Now, I got to go back to Deuteronomy 8.18. It wasn't planned for me to share Deuteronomy 8.18, but when I looked at the time, I saw that it was 8.18 a.m., and I felt the Spirit of God say, that's a reference to Deuteronomy 8.18, okay? So let me go there real quick, book of Deuteronomy chapter 8, and then go down to verse 18, Deuteronomy 8. And go down to verse 18. Here's what it says. It says, remember the Lord your God. He is the one who gives you power to be successful. In order to fulfill the covenant, he confirmed to your ancestors with an oath. Now, listen, that's a prophetic word right there. I did not, God, when I saw the time, he said 818. I want you to go to Deuteronomy 818. And so the word of the Lord is coming to us right now this morning. And that's what he says in Deuteronomy 8.18. He says, remember the Lord your God. He, God, is the one who gives you the power to be successful. Okay? In order to fulfill the covenant that he confirmed to your ancestors with an oath. Okay? So listen to me. If you are in covenant with God. Hear the word of the Lord. If you are in covenant with Yahweh, it is your covenant blessing that the second half of this year 
is destined and ordained by God to be far exceedingly abundantly and beyond what you experienced in the first half. I don't know. Maybe you experienced a job loss. Maybe your ministry took a hit. Maybe your body went through an illness in the first half of the year. Well, it's halftime and the coach, the captain of our team is saying, listen to me, I got great plans for you on the second half, okay? And so you're coming out because you're in covenant with him. You're coming out with the blessing of God and you're coming out on top. You're going to come out with the W. You're going to come out with the victory. And just like Job, his life was a prophetic signpost that the first half, first half of his life was blessed of God. He met a trial in the midpoint of his life, he, but he, he didn't tap out. He didn't turn his back on God. He went through the fire and he came out even more blessed, okay? We may have started 2020 with a, 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 the vision of God, great plans and expectations, okay? But then the COVID hit and riots hit, but God says, keep your eyes on me because I'm still the author and I'm still the finisher, of your life and he's still the author and the finisher of 2020 okay he has already written what he has ordained for you to step into this year and i'm telling you god is saying do not tap out press forward press the battle press towards the mark for the high coin of god in christ jesus and at the end of this year you're going to have a mighty testimony okay the sons of god and the daughters of god are going to have a testimony at the end of this year say amen say amen okay because the world could be dealing with a pandemic but if you're a citizen of the kingdom come on i said if you are a citizen in the kingdom of god it is different for you. Say amen. There it is, folks. That's what the Lord wanted me to come on here this morning and share with the people of God. It's halftime. Go into the locker room from the captain. Go into the locker room with the captain of the team, with the coach. Get the download. Get the strategy. And go into the second half of the, of the fight, second half of the game, with the battle plan and the strategy from heaven. Stick to it. And you are guaranteed the victory because he has already authored it and already finished it. That's it this morning. So God bless you guys from Southern California. I want to remind you, join us this Friday night, July the 3rd, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for our online service. Take that word. I'm telling you, that word came by the Spirit and God moved on me early this morning to get on here and release the word of the Lord. It's halftime, okay? God bless you guys. Love you guys. More importantly, Jesus loves you. Remember, you were born to roar and destined to soar. God bless.